My name's Susie Barrett and I'm a TB specialist nurse. And I'm David Thomas, TB consultant nurse. After COVID, TB is a leading cause of death from an infectious disease. One in four people, a quarter of the global population, have been exposed to TB. Always consider TB as a potential diagnosis, especially if your patient has additional risk factors, such as being born overseas, homelessness, addictions, previous imprisonment, or a low immune system. But don't get caught out, TB infects anyone. TB can infect any part of the body. Common symptoms include a cough lasting longer than three weeks, unexplained tiredness and weight loss, mild fevers, drenching night sweats and swollen lymph nodes. Screen your patient with an x-ray and send samples to microbiology. If your patient has a cough, isolate them in a side room and send three sputum samples for TB, PCR, AFB smear and culture. Submit tissue, pus and fluid samples fresh to microbiology, again for TB, PCR and AAFB smear and culture. Do not place samples into formalin as this can affect the culture process. If you are unsure whether your patient has TB, request a respiratory opinion and get a chest x-ray. Know the signs. Test your patient. Think TB.